Let's learn how to print to labels in Microsoft Word 2019. And this also works with Office 365 Word as well. Let's click on Mailings at the top. And what we're going to want to do is click on Labels. So there's our label. So we're going to put on an address or really anything you want to put in here. It does not have to be an address label if you don't want to. You can certainly put in something else. So in this case, let's say, oh, we're a photographer. So let's put in photography by, and then we'll say John Doe. And we see that we've got the web address as well as the email address. Now, we can use the full page. By default, as you see here, it's going to give us a full page of all the same label. Or we can just choose a single label. And we can say how many rows, how many columns. So that way, what we can do is if we want other things printed on these sheets of labels besides uh, everything uh, that you see here, you can split it up. And that ends up saving you some money. However, let's say in our case, we want to have the full page of the same label. So now let's see what other options that we have. Let's click on the right-hand side where it says Label. So we'll click on that and we see various different products. So we can choose continuous feed printers, which very few people have nowadays, but if you do, there's your product number. Or you can choose page printers, which is usually what people are using nowadays. Under the tray, if you have more than one tray with the printer default that you're going to use, then uh, you'll see those options here. So I'm just going to choose the default because I only have the one tray in my printer. And now we see label vendors. And by default, it's going to show Microsoft, but most people nowadays um, are using something other than Microsoft for their labels. They're typically using Avery. So if we choose Avery, you can choose US letter or you can choose uh, one other, whatever size that you'd like. Then you look at the product number, which is going to be on the packaging, and you pick which one is yours. So I'm going to say that's this one here. Our height is 0.75, our width is 3.25, and the page size is 4 by 6. Or we can choose a different one. I'll choose 753. Here's this is more the size of a regular sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11. Now we can click on Details. So we click on details, we can move things to the left, to the right, the top, bottom. So if you choose to do that, you can see, click that, and you can see things change as you click them. You may decide you want things off-centered a little bit. It's totally up to you. And of course, you can change the page size here as well. So once you have the label exactly where you want it, just click OK. And now we have everything set up. Next, we can click on New Document, where we can verify labels are loaded before printing. Now, we can see that we're actually having an issue here where an entire line is missing. So we can make some changes. So let's click on Labels. So it's a good thing we didn't send it to our printer yet. So let's go and hit the backspace here. And now we're going to make this four lines instead of five. Or we could just get larger labels, either way. Now we're going to click on New Document again. There we go. Now we can see that everything is in our label. So we should be good to go. So now we can see that we've got everything the way we want it to be set. So we can enter our label into our printer. We can print it. So if we go back to Labels, now we can click on Print. If you want to make some additional changes, just click Cancel and go to File Print. And then we can do things like change the printer. So maybe the default printer is not what we want, and there's no option to do that if we just click on Labels. Now we can change the printer. And we can change things like the margins, the page size, the orientation, etc. And once you've fed in your label sheet, you can go ahead and click Print. So that's how we set up and print labels in Microsoft Word 2019.